some of my favorite parts of philosophy class is the walk after class. Um, when we leave class and we're all trying to like digest what we just heard and what we just learned. Philosophy is all about seeing the big picture and asking questions like why and how come. Being able to think like that and being able to think logically about those sorts of questions and very structured, you can apply in literally anything you do. Philosophy always challenged me. Uh, for me, it was something, again, outside the box. It really challenged you to really think and not just you know, use a calculator to get an answer, but it's you finding that answer. In a philosophy class, it felt much more kind of like a back and forth, like an interaction. So you go into a philosophy class and you can expect to have opportunities to raise your hand and challenge the professor on something that the professor has said or challenge a, a principle in the reading, present an argument for a view that you hold. After every philosophy class I've taken, my worldview has changed. It has totally made an impact on the way I think about things. If you take a philosophy class at Worcester, you'll never have any doubt that the faculty just love the material. They love the subject matter, and that's totally infectious. When I'm teaching now, I teach philosophy classes now, I want my students, I'm always thinking about how I want my students to feel the way I felt at Worcester. I think the professors here very much motivate you, encourage you to take on these works, to analyze them, and to kind of look at different things in the world through different perspectives, through different lenses. Really, I was taking those classes because I thought, well, first of all, because I really liked them, and second, because I knew they were making me a better thinker and writer and reader. And I really believe that that really mattered the most. It didn't really matter what I was going to end up doing. Whenever I tell people I'm a philosophy major, I always have to back it up and say I'm going to law school. Because most of the time when people think about philosophy majors, they, they actually don't have like any idea on like the field of philosophy and all the different career opportunities within philosophy. They're a rare commodity. Uh, when I was in certainly my larger corporate roles and even now, I would, uh, when a resume would hit my desk and that person was a philosophy major, they would get a special s section of the desk. In my experience, business leaders gobble that up because they need people who can think critically. I think that the importance of philosophy as a field of study is partly that it can lead you to great careers, but it's partly that it will lead you to a richer life.